Smokey in here. Good morning, YTPC. Philly Pepper Mike here. It is Monday, <clears throat> August 23rd. Currently 72 degrees. It's going up to 86 today. The sun's actually starting to come out. I put my sunglasses on. There we go. It's been miserable the last couple days. Rainy. Somewhat humid. <coughs> um, yeah, just inside all day yesterday. I wanted to go uh, shoot my bow with my new strings and get my stuff sighted in, but it was uh, remnants of that tropical storm all weekend. So anyway, that didn't happen. So today I'm smoking <clears throat> my Briarworks uh, C12 bent billiard wire rusticated with a caramel stem awesome uh, less expensive pipe and in it today and I'm going to butcher this name I'm smoking the second blend that my good friend Jurgen sent me from Germany which is HU Tobacco's I think it's Rochinante or Rosinante um it's the Grand Reserve two años, the two years. It's aged two years before it's tinned, which is uh, what Andrew Cerigliano and uh, Jurgen were both telling me. Because, like I said, when I went to go look it up real quickly before I left for work on Friday, or before I left on Friday, um, it was all in German. Which uh, it, today I, I searched this one, the Rochinante, and um, it. Uh, it popped up on tobacco reviews, but then when I clicked it, it had like a warning, like somebody might be impersonating this site, some weird, uh, so it didn't display the page. So, uh, what I can tell you about it is that it's, uh, as HU does so well, which I love, they, um, they put the blend components in order of, um, percentage on the tin. So it's dark Virginia, red Virginia, burly, and then a little bit of Kentucky and a little bit of break. And right off the bat, I get the, both of the Virginias. I get the dark and the red. You get that, um, like deep, dark, like bread from the, from the dark Virginia. Um, it's not citrus, it's not hay. It's like um, darker baking spice bread. Um, you get the little bit of the, the sourness from like the vinegary of the Red Virginia. And that's what I get. I, I don't really taste much Perique, um, you know, but the Red Virginia could be kind of over overpowering the Perique. At least, again, this is the first first bowl I'm smoking of it. Very smooth. It's really good. Um, I'm trying to think about what I can compare it to, and it's, it's pretty unique. good for for having you know for being a dark virginia and red virginia it's uh as daniel seaman would say very mild but it's very again like i say with i feel like it's not like a broken record with with all of hans Fiederman's uh blends all his ag tobaccos they're they're masterfully blended Now, obviously, I haven't smoked all his 
anywhere near all his blends, but every blend that I have, it's extremely well blended. It's very, nothing really punches you in the face, nothing stands out, nothing overpowers any blends. He is the master. What's really good about this blend is that the Dark Virginia rounds out the Red Virginia. Because um, on a lot of blends for me, Red Virginia can really overpower a blend. <coughs> that strong, you know, vinegary bitterness that you can get from Red Virginia's makes your mouth water. You can taste that, but it's it comes up in the front and then right where it would normally kick in that bitter tartness, the Dark Virginia rounds it out, or the Burley, whatever it is that's doing it, is really doing a great job of it. It's really tasty. I really can't think of anything that I can compare this to. Good. Hmm. Anyway, um, so yeah, I hope you guys had a good weekend. I uh, I did go up as you guys saw on Friday. I went up to Lancaster Archery. Spent a few hours up there. Got my bow all tuned in because I had it restrung. I do have to got new arrows too so I do have to um, recite it in which is such a pain in the ass I'm not looking forward to doing that I was going to do that yesterday but I didn't feel like doing it in the rain so I didn't Saturday I didn't do much <clears throat> uh, virtual pipe club was awesome good meeting um, we had the pleasure of, of having uh, Levon Eric um what a, what a great, humble guy. I mean, just a... That guy is, is just an awesome guy. He's just so approachable, such a nice guy, so so humble. You know, he's one of the most amazing pipe carvers we have. And, uh, you know, if you asked him about it, he's like, oh, I don't get it. You know, I don't know why people are so crazy about my pipes. You know, people love them, but just a great guy it was cool to I jumped on a little earlier than I normally do I was able to, to put the girls down for their nap uh, around 1 30 so I jumped on about 20 of which I try to do every week but it doesn't always work out and um, we were just chatting in the in the zoom room <laughs> before the meeting technically started and um, just a great guy really awesome great great meeting um, we checked in with a couple of the guys that were at the uh, New York Putt Club uh, barbecue or picnic, which they moved up from, it's supposed to be Sunday, but they moved it to Saturday because of the rain. But, uh, yeah, I mean, for, for just hanging around the house, it was a, it was a good weekend got some stuff done. I had I got a TV I had to hang and a carpet I had to put in. So we're getting some other, we're getting some carpets installed. I had a rug, not a carpet. Rug I had to put in. Look at an area rug. I got some carpets coming this week. So sprucing up the house a little bit. Got new furniture. Um, yeah, I got to go to the post office today. I have to get, um, Daniel, Daniel's package out in the mail. We did a little trade. I uh, I had mistakenly ordered. I ordered a bunch of stuff from Paul's Pipe Shop. Some of the stuff they had at the Columbus Show. I got 600 gram tins of my favorite Solani 633 Virginia Flake with Perique from 2007-2008. Um, which, and it's amazing. It's unbelievable how crazy that much age has put on that blend so much deeper and darker and the perique stronger and you know fresh it's a fairly sweet blend um 
and when it ages, it definitely deepens and gets more complex. It's it's amazing. It, it honestly, when you open it up, it smells like um, like Dunhill Dark Flake or Peterson Irish Flake. It's got that um, like medicinal type of smell that uh, I'm assuming it's the Perique or the Virginia's, whatever it is, it smells amazing and it tastes phenomenal. I was really worried, um, if you're familiar with the Solani 100 gram tins, <clears throat> when you get them now, they're just in a square tin that's not sealed, you open it up and then there's just a piece of, like all the tobaccos in like a cellophane that's just like taped shut. They don't actually seal the blends. Kind of like um, if you've ever had like Wessex um, uh, Gold Block think yeah um it's just in cellophane so i was a little you know worried about you know having 13 14 years of age on them how they were going to be and i was extremely delighted when i opened up that tin and they're actually in gold vacuum sealed bags so i was like oh that's awesome so i cracked it open and i was like oh, i hope it's still the seal's still good and it was the moisture content was perfect um, and man, like I said, what a, what a crazy difference that, that, that's like, I've had some aged Escudo and some aged Orlick and you know, it's definitely had a little bit of, I've never had something that, that, that aged, um, or like a strong Virginia that aged, man, what a, what a difference. It's like a completely different blend. It's unbelievable. Um, so I, anyway, I ordered um, I ordered six tins of that. I ordered um, two tins from 2009, I think, of Orlick Golden Sliced 100 gram tins, and two tins of Wessex Classic Virginia from 2010. Um, so I, but I mistakenly ordered when he was on the phone. He was like, "Yeah, I have Wessex Brown Virginia Flake," and for some reason, I thought it was part of the of the Brigade series. Um, and then when I got it, I was like, oh, it's the Brown Virginia, which I have. I don't know what the age of it is either, but... So I reached, you know, I was talking to Dan, and he was like, uh, yeah, I, you know. I was like, you want to you trade? I, you know, I have, I already have some of this, and he hadn't tried it. So I'm sending him those two tins, and then I have a couple little surprises for him. I told him I was going to send him some of that Solani. Um, so I sent him a nice, nice bit of that, and then I got two other surprises. Uh, in there for him, so he sent mine out Saturday. Hopefully, I, I'm, I'm trying to try to get his out today. I have a lot of running around to do, but I do need to go to the post office. But anyway, guys, I'm just about see. I left uh, later. Come on. I left later in the in the in the you know, and it took me what, 14 minutes, that extra 15, 20 minutes that I leave earlier normally, or I've been trying to, really makes a difference. But anyway, it's uh, Rocinante, I'm probably butchering that, I know I am, Rocinante, whatever it is, it's really good, um, it's really unique, it's, uh, again, I wish I could get some of this stuff a little bit more available in the states, but I'm gonna spend some time with this and give it a couple more bowls and see how I like it. But first impressions are really good. I don't know, you're gonna. I know you said you liked uh, you like this better. I'll have to smoke the um, Cervantes again to try to hammer that down and see what see if that's uh, if I agree with that, but. So far, so good. Anyway, guys, you guys have a great start to your week. And remember, the left lane is for passing. See you guys.